it's pep talk time or pep talk. Okay, so pep talk time, but pep talk is on. So I feel like all of us kind of want to be like, do it, be you, you're awesome and rad, as Jess would say, just amazing people. And it's true. And that's why we say it. And that's why we are here. These things are true every day, not just the day that it's posted and not just the day that um, you see this for the first time. I hope that um, one of us in these five days can can make some kind of lasting impression that you can kind of refer to in times of times of darkness and times of struggle. No, no one want, no one is used to hearing good things all the time because our world is really, really negative. And lots of people are unhappy, but you don't have to be one of them. And I certainly am not. So I'm not going to perpetuate that negativity into your life via the internets. And for my time, however many minutes and seconds that I occupy of your day, I want it to be a good part of your day. And so I thank you all so much for feedback that tells me that it is because that only encourages me to do it, do it more and more. So thank you because you drive me to drive you. If that makes sense. It's kind of like, help me help you. You're going to end up being the one to do things like do things in your life and be something in your life. You're already going to do it. You're already going to be amazing. But just the whole point of a pep talk is to reassure you that it's true. And I think it's okay to need reassurance because if you concentrate on something, if you focus energy on it, if you want it to be true, you can make it be true. And, and I'm like a believer, like I just, people are so amazing and so unpredictable and resilient and just, they can go beyond their means and they can thrive and just totally shine in the dimmest of circumstances. We have an opportunity to prove ourselves every day of our lives, every day. And in the, even the simplest of circumstances, that's why it's so important to just have your mind be open and just be ready to prove yourself at any moment. Like when you are wasting time being angry or upset or dreading things, any chance to turn it around is one that you should take. And if you're starting off your day badly, then don't accept that. Just be like, you know what? I'm not going to further this. I am going to turn it around right now. And you know what? You can because your mind, it, it, the things that you do are like minute, like so small about what's actually happening and, and so big about how you respond to it. People often have the misconception that they have no control over the situations that they're in. You have so much control over it. And I think that like, harnessing that and, and just taking hold of it and doing something about it is one, very empowering. Two, it's it's the best way to do it. Otherwise you, you get strung along and you, you have to just take life and why not just take hold of it and make it your own and give it some direction. Like you, you owe it to yourself. People try to be really passive and not involved in their life and so they can blame it on someone else if they don't don't do the things they want to do or don't become the person that they want to become, but you really just need to take control of it and then you will be those things. It will happen in its own time. You are meant to live the, the days that you live in order to get to the days that you will live. I don't know if that makes sense, but you could be right if you say that you're not going to do these things, but then you're not going to be doing them. Um, but you could open your mind to it and say you're going to try to overcome your circumstances or and you can and you will and I just am a personal believer that you just have to look at yourself in the mirror and just look at yourself in the eye and say nice things to yourself like even if you just think it but just like hearing it and thinking it is so powerful and empowering and and you can just have one phrase that you focus on like I will have a great day just do it so that you're building yourself up and you're you know, you're living fully. Too much of our life is spent having people tell us that we can't do things and can't be things and having ourselves especially telling us that. That's just poison. And you need to just put that the farthest, farthest way, farthest place away from your mind because it's just going to bring you down. And you know what? Ain't nothing going to break up my stride. Ain't nothing going to hold me down. Oh no, I got to keep on moving. And when you mess up, just get right back up. Dust yourself off 
And don't even think about it. Maybe just think about it in order to learn from it so you don't do it again. Everyone makes mistakes. It's just about how graceful you get past them. Oh, geez, I have so much more I could say. Think about like a great moment in your life when you felt on top of the world or like when you were in your element. You have to think about that moment and you have to put yourself there, up here, as much as you can. And it will trickle over and you will be filled to your brim with those good feelings and you'll be able to do more and be more. And it just takes some, some rearranging of your priorities and of like your attitude but really it's it's just that it's attitude and if you face everything with an open mind then you'll be open to a lot more good things so um i hope that that wasn't too vague or too cheesy but i i don't really care let's be honest um i just hope that it helped but uh just know that you are more than enough and if anyone thinks otherwise they crazy Mm hmm so and I hope that you can take this this little morsel this little morsel of wisdom this little bit that I am bestowing upon you and you can take it you can spread it across the world like rainwater <laughs> I will see you next Tuesday